Welcome back to Rip and Packs. On today's video, let's crack open this Detective Pikachu Greninja box that I have been hanging on to. Excuse me. Detective Pikachu Greninja GX case file. I think we got a couple Detective Pikachu packs. We got our promo and, um,. Fuck, what's in there? I think it's Sunny Moon Base and Sunny Moon Crimson Invasion, y'all. We'll see shortly. But let's do our Pokey Trivia question of the day. Horsey. What does Horsey shoot at bugs? Anyways, y'all, let's go get our minds right. We'll be right back. Welcome back, baby. Let's go ahead and answer that trivia question. Blast of Ink, y'all. And look at the uh, the OG legend himself, Ash, chilling on the back there. And we do got some mystery mail also from Homie. And let's start off with one of these. We've got we have I don't think we've opened the Sorrelette one yet. At least not on the channel. And I don't think nobody really cares, y'all. I know we got the coin. Same fucking fidget spin thing, whatever. We're just going to toss that shit out of there. I'm sure there's a coin of some kind in there. Probably a Rowlet, like all the other ones. And another Hollow we hadn't seen yet, Growlithe. And now we're starting to get some repeats. I remember seeing that Lapras and the Cutie Fly. It might be our first... Dynamo that we got. We'll set that mystery mail to the side, y'all. I gotta have Gengar give us the lick of the luck on the Greninja box. I swore I was never gonna open this, man. Shit. My, uh, my wife and kids got this for me for Father's Day couple of years ago <laughs> I don't remember when detective Pikachu came out when did this when did this come out does it say on here 2019 for the box I'm guessing 2019 so been sitting on this for about four years I think it was Father's Day they got this for me could have been Christmas pretty sure it was Father's Day seems about the right time frame but Anyways, y'all, we've been sitting on this for a minute. I said I was never going to open it. They never really understood why. At the time, I was collecting stuff and keeping it sealed. And then I decided to start this channel here and started opening more stuff. But mostly toys and stuff, not really cards, but, you know, special stuff like Greninja was to me. The Greninja toy, Gengar toy. Stuff like that we've been picking up. That's a sweet promo. It's the code card for you. And I'm going to have to sleeve that Greninja GX up. And I have to go find me a top loot or two after the video. Or next couple of videos whenever I freaking remember. But we're going to set that up there as a special, special reminder. As this was a gift from my kids, y'all. And we, oh, so we got five packs of Detective Pikachu. And we got our oversized Greninja card. I don't usually hang on to the oversized cards. Not a, let's take up too much room, y'all. Too much room. And we do get a sweet, sweet Greninja pen. Not sure where we're going to wind up leaving him at, but definitely around here. I have opened a couple Detective Pikachu packs before, not on the channel of course, but the cards were fairly interesting from what I recall. Uh, Charmander Sweet, Bulbasaur, Lickitung, and Slat King. And I thought so that I, I thought I remembered them all being hollow. I'm not sure if that's every pack or. Maybe they do like uh, God Packs, Arceus Packs, whatever you want to call them. But I think I remember them all being hollow. I 
did not open very many of these, but we did open a couple. Psyduck, Magic Carp. That's sweet right there. Pulling the Grin Ninja, baby. Magic Carp's cool too, and Psyduck, Jigglypuff. But we are going to have to sleeve that Grin Ninja up, y'all. Don't know if there's any any like valuable cards from this set or anything. I don't think I don't think there was. Well, we're gonna have to find that Greninja at home too. I don't know if they put Froki and Frogadier in here either. I don't really remember them being a part of the movie. But it would be cool to see those if they are. Snubble. And Detective Pikachu himself. That's a cool one, y'all. I would say if any of them are going to be worth anything, it's probably that one. But again, I do not know. I did not look this up, man. I just thought it would be cool to open it. My kids have been dying to see me open it. So hopefully I'll show them this part of the video and let them enjoy it. And my wife, too. My wife was really, uh, that's a cool Charizard, too, man. Let's we'll leave that Charizard up, too. My wife was excited to see it open, too, and see what was all in there. And me. I'm excited to open it, too, after all this time, man. It's been, it has been a while since, since I opened Detective Pikachu. But this is what I'm excited about, this Crimson Invasion and the Sun and Moon base set. You know, after hanging on to this for a couple years, it'd be nice to see if there was anything hiding in those single packs of each. Ditto, very cool. I don't, was Ditto in the movie? I don't remember Ditto being in the movie. But before we crack into those, Let's crack into this mystery mail from Homie and see what we got. I did not, um... Yeah, like, where, where was Ditto in the movie, man? I haven't watched Detective Pikachu in a while. Now look at this. We got two packs from Homie today. It looks like an Olympic pack. Olympic something. Olympic Games, of course, but I'm not sure if this is a volume one. Gotta make sure I keep any personal information hid here if there is any. And then I'm not sure what this other pack is. I did get these off eBay. Thank you for your purchase. If there are any issues, please let me know immediately. I appreciate your business. I appreciate the thank you cards, so, homie, they said thank you, and as well as I, Comic Ball 3 cards featuring Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. Jim Abbott, and the crazy Looney Tune characters, what, what, <laughs> Upper Deck, Major League Baseball, this is another pack of cards I don't recall ever seeing, man. 1992 we got here. Comic ball. So maybe this is going to be like some kind of space jam for baseball. So, oh, man, there's some kind of like coin in here or something. Centennial Olympic Game Collection. Special insert cards. Posters, torches, medals. Pack contains eight premium trading cards and one collector disc. So it's not a coin. It's a collector disc. I'm trying to see if there's a date on this pack. Y'all see if maybe we can get the Bruce Jenner card out of here. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> Bruce Jenner. Can we pull a Bruce Jenner card? <laughs> I wonder if there's the Decathlon in here. What year? I mean, wasn't he in the 80s? So this is 90s, I'm guessing. If it's, it may not even be individual players or co contestants or whatever. Let's have a look at this coin. 
that's interesting, I guess. I'm not sure if that's like really off centered or. 7 of 20, 1956. I don't think. So this must just be honoring like past games or something like that. Like. Alright, I guess I. This is like our intro card or something. No, it's just upside down. Alright. Daily Official Program, World's Fair, Louisiana Purchase Exposition, St. Louis, USA, Summer Olympics 1904, St. Louis. <laughs> like, what is this crap, man? Nadia Kaminsky? I mean... This is some shit here, y'all. I have never seen this pack of cards. No idea what we're looking at, man. Don't think we're going to see the Bruce Jenner in this pack. But... <laughs> Look at that fireworks show, baby. What game is this from? Doesn't disc throw men? USA... All right, what is this, skiing? Yep, like jump inside. Y'all, I don't really follow the Olympics, man. So, here we go, man. I think the last time I watched, like, paid, I mean, I did watch a little bit of curling with my boy back in the day, but I mean, like maybe the dream team was like the last time I watched the Olympics and that was basketball many many years ago so this is going to be interesting too man this is comic book baseball cards with Ken Griffey Jr and it did say Looney Tunes so I'm guessing they're all going to be like Bugs Bunny cards and we got the error pack going that card was backwards Eye on ball. Base in the hole. <laughs> they literally would make a card of anything in the 90s, man. Like, people would buy them. This pack is just turned every which way it can be. The winning scheme. Sylvester, frickin' Elmer Fudd, the winning scheme. That is so funny, man. Oh, is that our Griffey card? King Griffey Jr., King Griffey Sr., and Jim Abbott. Like, like, how many of these did y'all make, man? Like, there's so many cards from the 90s, y'all, of just random, random stuff, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Thank you, homie, for the interesting look back into the past <laughs> of card history. Let's start with Sun and Moon Base and see... It's something that I've had sitting around for a couple years with two packs of cards in it. Can't have any bangers for us, y'all. What's oh, Sunny Moon 3? Is it 3 or 4? I guess we'll find out here in a second. Pinseer, Dupiter, Polywag, Paris, Chin Chow, Energy Switch, so it was 4, Crocodile. Nice looking hollow, but not the hit we were looking for. And let's try this Crimson Invasion. I'm pretty sure, not positive, I was not opening a lot of Pokemon during this time. But I did open some. I seem to remember there being a Charizard in Crimson Invasion that everybody was after. Highly doubt, love that Haunter. Highly doubt we're going to get it in one pa one pack, but we'll see. Star you. 
or whatever any of the chase cards were in Crimson Invasion. Well, Starly, Rimmeraid Reverse, and a Gorgeist non hollow so nothing. Nothing too crazy out of our box, y'all. Those uh, couple Detective Pikachu cards were pretty lit. Seeing those Looney Tunes baseball cards was something very interesting. And those Olympic cards were just, man, like the stuff they thought people would buy in the 90s is ridiculous, man. But thank y'all for being here, man. We'll catch you on the next one.